गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हम प्रोफेसर जी रिपाडी एकदम प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सोशल साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग के के ऑफ कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नाशिक तो टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज सिल्क रोसिंग इंडस्ट्रीज इन इंडिया ओके द हिस्ट्री एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सिल्क इंडस्ट्री इन इंडिया कैन बी डिस्कस अंडर टू हेड्स प्री इंडिपेंडेंट डेवलपमेंट एंड पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंट डेवलपमेंट ओके द फर्स्ट इज प्री इंडिपेंडेंट डेवलपमेंट ड्यूरिंग अर्ली इयर्स ऑफ 20th century efforts were made to develop improved varieties of cotton wheat groundnut and sugarcane okay the state department of agriculture adopted two methods for multiplication and distribution of this improved varieties first the seed of improved varieties were multiplied at one location and distributed over the large area to replace local varieties okay second the seed was distributed in small packets to large number of farmers It was expected that farmers would multiply their own seed. When the second method was tried, Bengal, with improved varieties of jute and paddy, did not give fruitful results. Hence, the first method was followed. Okay. Also, in 1925, the Royal Commission on Agriculture was established, and it made the following recommendations for introduction and spread of improved varieties. First, a separate organization should be there within agriculture to deal with seed testing and distribution. Second, the seed distribution should be made to cooperative societies, Department of Agriculture, and seed boards. Third, private seed boards should be given encouragement. Also, following the suggestions of Royal Commission, the Federal Government of India established several research institutes. The seed multiplication and distribution was now increasing. Later on, several committees were made. Notable among them are Sir John Sir Russell Committee in 1937, Ashbel Committee in 1940. Dr. Burns Committee in 1944, Famine Inquiry Committee in 1944, and Food Bank Policy Committee in 1944. These reviews commissions reveal that first crop botanists should be involved in development of improved varieties, their testing and demonstration. Second, initial seed should be multiplied on government farms and subsequent multiplication in the fields of registered growers. Third, government should purchase the seed from registered growers at a premium price. Later on, distribute to farmers at conventional rates. Okay. Until 1939, vegetable seeds were imported from other countries, and due to Second World War in 1939, the supply of vegetable seeds was stopped by 1945. Okay, by private vegetable companies. Seed companies had developed facilities for producing vegetable seeds at a generally greater in Pakistan, Kashmir, and Gadi. Okay. 1946 all india seed growers merchants and nurserymen association was formed with the objective of rapid development of vegetable seed industry the seed industry after independence okay 1948 generally excellent in agriculture colleges were under the department of agriculture set up in india in 1948 to 49 dr s radhakrishnan recommended the formation of agriculture university and he called them rural universities In 1950, recommendations were given by experts from foreign countries for the establishment of agri university. Until 1951, agriculture was neglected after the formation of agricultural university and research institutes. Agriculture development started in India. Okay. The number of development plans by India: the first fire plan, second fire plan, third fire plan, to eighth fire plan. The first five-year plan. Okay, so these are means number of five plans for development of seed processing. Okay, means during these periods, development of seed processing industries. Okay, in India, the first five-year plan from 1950 to 56. During this period, major emphasis was given for the use of improved seed. The improved varieties were developed, and the better seed was produced on government farms. It was then multiplied into two. Three stages through two or three classes of cultivar type, term as A, B, and C. Larger the number of intermediate stages, less pure was the seed. Okay, mean generally, larger the number of intermediate stages, less pure was the seed. Okay, 1952, Grow More Food Inquiry Committee was established. They recommended seed multiplication and distribution schemes. Where the progress made during first fire plan was poor, and seed was mainly distributed with subsidy. Then second fire plan in nineteen fifty six to sixty one. Generally, this period is regarded as golden period of for agricultural development and research. Nineteen fifty seven All India Coordinated Maize Improvement Project was started in collaboration with Rockefeller Foundation of USA with multidisciplinary approach. 
within four years of its establishment, four major hybrids were released. In 1961, Deccan hybrid Maka, hybrid Ranji was found in New Delhi, Ganga one from Jivpant Agriculture University, Ganga then one from Jivpant Agriculture University. By seeing the pro progress made the government of India start a similar project on Sargon Badra in 1961 as the first swarm hybrid CH1 was released from New Delhi in 1964 and first Badra hybrid HB1 from Punjab in 1965. Later on, the government of India extended it to all crops of economic importance. During this period, importance was given for multiplication of foundation seed from breeder seed at block level. For this policy was made that each national extension service block should have seed farm and seed store. Based on this, 4,328 seed farms of 10 hectares each were proposed. So by the end of second plan period, only 2,551 seed farms would be commenced. In 1959, first Indo-American Agriculture Production Team was established to determine India's food production problems. The team headed by Dr. Sherman Johnson Ford Foundation made following suggestions to Government of India. In January, first village block and district level extension workers should be made responsible for recruiting farmers in use of input seed. Second, state agriculture department should be made responsible for seed certification. Third, cooperative and private seed growers should be made responsible for seed supply. Fourth, setting up of seed testing laboratories. And fifth, development of uniform seed certification standards and seed laws. Then, third five year plan. From 1961 to 66. The release of first four major hybrids in 1961 has set the creation of separate organization for seed production to exploit the food production potential of these hybrids and his, his gave birth to Center Seeds Corporation in 1963. Main aim of, of establishing CSC was to establish foundation and certified seed production then to assist in the development of seed production and marketing of seeds, then to encourage and assist in development of seed certification programs, seed law and seed law enforcement programs, then to train personnel involved in seed programs, and fifth, coordinate the input seed programs. So this marks the beginning of systematic seed production program based on scientific principles. Okay. Most significant achievements of National Seed Corporation in development of seed industries are First establishment of scientific seed industry in the country, then encouragement of Indian manufacturers for seed processing equipment, then development of field inspection methods and seed standards for seed certification and labeling, then multiplication of free release varieties of all India importers, then FSP of varieties of all India importers, then National Seed Corporation provided expert services to food and agriculture organization for designing high cap seed processing plants in Iran and seed storage structures in Malaysia. Now the third five year plan uh, from 1960 to 66 to 69 annual plans. In 1966, Hiding Variety Program was launched by Government of India. This program envisages coverage of 9.2 million hectares of food crop area by 1968 to 69 and 25 million hectares by 1973 to 74 under Hiding Varieties of Badra, Maize, Sorghum, Paddy, and Wheat. On 29 December 1966, Seed Act Bill was introduced in the Parliament. On 2nd October 1969, the Seed Act Bill came into force throughout the country. 1968 Seed Review Team was established by the Government of India. Then, Fourth Fire Plan from 1969 to 74. This Great Thai Development Corporation was established in 1969 with assistance from World Bank. The project aimed at integrated agriculture development of Thai area with the production of quality seed as a primary objective. Later on, it has been renamed as a UP Seeds and Thai Development Corporation Limited in February 1978. The unique features of this corporation were first involvement of Jivpant Agriculture University staff were involved in the project to provide technical guidance and supervision to seed growers so that they can produce large quantities of foundation seed and certified seed required for entire project area. Then integrated development approach, main emphasis was given for land leveling, farm mechanization, irrigation development, electrification and adequate availability of other inputs necessary for raising excellent crop and credit facilities. Then third, participation of three growers as the shareholders of the corporation in contrast to the contact system of seed production.
so next compact area approach technical supervision guidance and certification are time consuming and important tasks they can be effectively carried out in compact areas further it becomes easier to undertake collective plan production measures conduct to training programs and to arrange credit facility next state quality control in addition to inspection done by SCA, the corporation with the assistance from Jibwant University conducts in inspection during seed production, marketing and distribution. For the first time they started testing the samples in the laboratory and fair seed lot were rejected. 6. Money back guarantee. The corporation gives the money back if any seed lot is found to be substandard by the corporation. And last, integrated approach for marketing seeds. The corporation appointed its dealers only those who are simultaneously marketing fertilizers, pesticides, etc. so that the consumers can get most of the inputs at one place. In 1971, Indian Society of Seed Technology was formed. The society provides opportunities for exchange of experiences and scientific knowledge to persons engaged in seed industry. The Indian Society of Seed Technology publishes seed research and seed technology newsletter and usually meets once in a year. Okay. Then, fifth five year plan from 1974 to 77 during this period national commission on agriculture set up okay also carried out a review of seed industry and which gave its recommendation in 1976 which are as follows first seed industry should be expanded on commercial lines and foreign should be invited if necessary second icr and the central seeds committee should develop system of national registry of varieties third encouragement should be given to small what is your participants to form compact areas for seed production and for promotional measures should be given for seed growth such as seed crop insurance, exemptions of taxes, etc. Then development and fabrication of seed processing equipment, then seed processing should be made compulsory, then storage of bitter seed and nucleus seed should be done under control condition, then grow test should be made an integral part of the seed testing, then rigorous enforcement of seed act then compulsory certification may be desirable for seed material of hybrids and vegetatively propagated crops. Then teaching of seed production technology should be introduced in agriculture universities. Then Department of Agriculture should have three distinct wings dealing with input aspects, law enforcement and seed certification. Okay. So based on the recommendations of National Commission on Agriculture, Government of India decided to establish seed production agency in the country for assured supply of seed for increasing agricultural production. Following the recommendations of NCA in 1976, the Government of India in 1974 decided to launch National Seeds Program with the assistance of World Bank. The National Seed Program first was implemented in 1975 to 76 with the actual implementation starting in 1976. During the first phase, Shared seed corporation were established in four states, namely Punjab, Haryana, Maharashtra, and the Pradesh. The program was further expanded during phase second, and state seed corporation were established in another five states, namely Karnataka, Rajasthan, UP, Bihar, and Odisha. The six fire plan from 1980 to 85. In this period, seed control order was passed, declaring seeds as an essential commodity. Government of India started national agricultural project. Due to which the entire country was divided into 107 agriclimatic zones and AP into 7 zones. Okay. Then, 7 5 year plan from 1985 to 19. During this period, impulses was given for infrastructure development and facilities for enhancing steel production, both in public and private sector. Under the NSP 3rd, state steel corporation were established in other four states, namely Assam, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, and Gujarat. Strengthening of seed technology, research and training facilities. So, new policy on seed development was passed on 16 September 1988, which came into effect on 1st October 1988. The policy was directed to assure the Indian farmers access to the best seeds available anywhere in the world with a view to maximize the yields of various crops. It laid emphasis on first import of high quality seeds, second a time bound program to strengthen plant quarantine facilities effective observance of procedures for quarantine or post quarantine and fourth incentives to encourage the domestic seed industries and eight fire plan from 1992 to 97 the increased seed production targets have been fixed for the eighth fire plan period 
Andhra Pradesh State Seed Development Corporation was established in March 1976 as a result of the government of Andhra Pradesh accepting the national seed programs in 1974. The Andhra Pradesh State Seed Development Corporation was formed by the growers but maintained by state government officials and is involved in quality seed production and distribution. Okay, so these are generally development of seed industries in India. Okay, before independence and after independence. Okay. Thank you students.